If you're bored with the stock Twitter background and you want to spice things up a little bit, no, I mean really spice things up a little bit, then this video is for you. Hey everyone, Steve here with Amazing Video Tours, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at uh, getting a nice Twitter background for your profile page. Now it seems like it would be a rather intuitive process to get a nice Twitter background, just basically pick a picture that you like and put it up there, but uh, unfortunately it is not that easy. The tricky part is that there's so many different screen resolutions to try to optimize for. So this begs the question, what is the most used screen resolution? Well, I did a little bit of research on that. And I found a couple of websites here that would indicate that the 1024 by 768 is what 44% of all people are using. This is uh, according to the counter.com. Uh, I also went to another uh, website called screenresolution.org. Um, but here's another one. 40% of people are using 1024 by 768 with the second largest percentage going to the 1280 by 800 brand, which is what I'm going to optimize for today. Now there's a fundamental problem with optimizing for this 1024 by 768 screen resolution, and I'll show you what that is. I'm gonna take my uh, screen here and pop it down to 1024 by 768 and show you what happens. Now I've changed my screen resolution here to the uh, 1024 by 768, and as you can tell, we're looking at uh, Shaquille O'Neal's profile page here, and, and you can see that uh, he didn't optimize for 1024. Uh, Scott Stratton, he's not optimized for 1024. Chris Brogan is not optimized for 1024 either. Okay, by way of comparison, I've switched back now. I'm now I'm sitting at 1280 by 800. And as you can tell, you can basically see um, everything on Chris Brogan's. And you can see that Jack is now optimized. And you can see that um, Scott Stratton is also optimized. So even though the uh, 1024 by 768 is the single largest um, in use, we're going to optimize for 1280 by 800. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to make an assumption that the vast majority of Twitter users are either here or here based on the mere fact that uh, they need to be at least here to be able to see other people's profiles. If they're using 1440 by 900, they'll actually be able to see this much more screen. Now, as you can tell, when we did that, we're actually pulling, if you watch this, we're actually pulling from the left to the right the whole photo over. So it kind of distorts things right here, but of course we've got some more room there. My recommendation is to optimize for the sweet spot and go for 1280 by 800. This way, your picture will look fine here, and if you decide to extend your photo for the larger resolution, it'll look good for the 1440 by 900 folks as well. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to use Photoshop uh, CS3 here to do this. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to File and New. And I'm going to set up a canvas of 1420 by 670. You're going to want to use uh, some software that will allow you to um, do guides. Some, some softwares call them helplines. Uh, in Photoshop, uh, they call them guides. So go to View, New Guide. And we're going to set a horizontal guide here at 65 pixels. And the next one we're going to do, new guide, horizontal, 580. Now I'm going to need a couple vertical guides in here as well. Set your first one at 244. Set your second one at 1000. And 10 and one more 1090 here are the guide numbers for this 1440 by 670 canvas that we've drawn here okay so now what do all these lines mean well let me add in a, the final picture here for you and you can kind of get a feel for it this is your sweet spot right here. This box right here above this line right here is what people are going to see whether or not they're at 1280 or whether at 1440. Okay. If they're at a screen resolution of 1440 by 900, they will be able to see this information as well. 
This line right here at 65 represents that top line. The reason for the two lines here is because if we look at a real world situation, this is essentially 1280 by 800. Um, where this is lined up very nicely, you can see this whole thing right here. If they are going to view it at 1440 by 900, it's going to look a little bit more like this. The reason why I have two lines there is because you can see this is a little bit of no man's land here when you get into 1440 by 900. You really can't optimize for both. What you've got to do is you've got to pick you know, one and optimize for it. I've got enough information here where it will fill up the 1440 by 900 screen. However, I'm not optimized for that. I am optimized for 1280 by 800. And that is represented by this line right here, the 1010 line, okay? Now one thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration is that due to the awkwardness of this side over here and how hard it is to get it right without you know having things getting in your way and stuff like that, um, I will share with you uh, the fact that uh, a lot of uh, people don't even optimize for that side of the screen. Uh, we're looking at a website here called Twitter Backgrounds Gallery. This is uh, what they deem as their top 10. And you can see a lot of the sites in their top 10, uh, the people don't even try to optimize for that side. Okay, so keeping in mind that this box right here is the one that you're going to want to optimize for. Right there. The dimensions of this particular box, and that's your single most important box, is 245 wide by five, uh, 515 uh, high. So 245 by 515 is your most important box. This box right here is uh, 245 wide by 65 tall. And keep in mind this is 65 tall all the way across. And then the remainder box right here is still 245 wide by 90 tall. So if you want to optimize that box right there. Now remember that this area right here is going to be blocked by the Twitter interface, so don't worry about putting anything here. And then essentially from here over is no man's land. Uh, the easiest thing to do when you first get started out is, is don't try to optimize for that side. Uh, for me, <clears throat> I didn't really worry about the numbers. I just kind of slapped the um, pictures up in there. Um, and I went all the way to the edge. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so assuming that you've got your Twitter background the way you like it and that you've saved it as a JPEG file, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Twitter. And uh, obviously, you've got to be logged in. Go to Settings. And then come to Design. And then you're going to pan down. You've got all these options right here to do all this kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Change Background Image. And then it's going to allow you to browse your hard drive. I'm going to go right here. The other thing to note is that it needs to be smaller than 800K. And then I'm going to go ahead and save the changes. And voila, it says your profile customization has been saved. So you have to go up here and make that go away. And of course, this is uh, screen resolution is back to 1280 by 800. So there it is how to get a customized Twitter background. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, please feel free to email me. I know I flew through the uh, Photoshop portion of that. Uh, my intention was not for this to be a Photoshop lesson, but uh, for this to be a uh, Twitter background lesson. Um, if you need help with Photoshop, uh, feel free to email me. Uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, help you out. So uh, happy tweeting. Until next time, I'm Steve Schwartz with Amazing Video Tours. Take care.